search and destroy strategy, pipeline, offense. Keep in mind this is not one continuous game, it is only meant to show you one or two possible pathways you can take of thousands available. Alright, we're going to do an approach to B. I'm not the bomb carrier and the bomb carrier does not communicate, which is a problem. Which is why it's always good to have headsets when you're playing this. Anyway, um, I'm showing you one route which is going straight underneath uh, the tunnel system here. But sometimes I like to actually go right over that uh, wall there, straight through the building to the other side where I actually stay uh, on defense. And most of the time I can make it straight through. Sometimes I'll throw a grenade in that corner just to clear it and then go through that way. Anyway, so we're underneath. Make sure when you're going around these corners, even when you enter it, when you first go in there, be very careful. Uh, as you could see, like when I was going through there, I had my uh, SMG up and ready to shoot. Always anticipate that there's going to be someone there. Don't just run blindly through there. Always think that there's going to be an enemy player right around the corner. Now this guy's obviously going to be planting at B. Uh, he doesn't communicate, but we know that he's going to be doing that or else he's an idiot and he's going completely out of his way. Anyway, I like to actually rush to the back. It's kind of dangerous, first of all, to come out of there because you have no idea. You can't see either way when you're crawling out. So I like to come right at the back and come forward that way. And I actually steal someone's kill. Eh, well, what are you going to do? Either finish them off or I'll take uh, the scraps because you can call me a vulture. Anyway, so he's going to plant there. Now I take this position. Granted, this is not a really good position to be in. You know, experienced players will look for you there. So just be aware of that. And my teammate finishes the guy in the back. Alright, so again, we're going to be going to B. And just to let you know, personally, I don't like going to A. I find it's too easy for the uh, defensive team to actually set up. They can easily get to even the very front. So they've all got their positions on there very quick. Whereas at least B is sort of susceptible to uh, people going underground. And here's what I was saying before. Sometimes I like, oops, kind of missed the door there. I like to come straight through this way. Now I just sort of stop just in case someone's going to be rushing through. Give it a couple of seconds. And I listen. You stay still. If you're going to do this, it's not about looking at the map and all that sort of stuff there. I mean, while I'm doing it, you're listening to see if you can hear anyone. So now what we're going to do is he's going to be setting up, uh, planting the bomb there. So I'm going to try and set up claymores. If anyone's rushing through, we should be able to get him. And if anyone's flanking from uh, this sort of walkway that I'm in right now, we should be able to nail him that way. Now, of course, the problem with not actually having the bomb is that you have to wait for the bomb carrier to feel nice and safe and cushiony to get down there. So... And there you go, the bomb carrier did not get down there. So now I've got the bomb, and I've got to plant it. Just because my uh, teammate got killed, I'm not going to hesitate. First of all, he was on a different level, therefore the sight line from who, whatever enemy killed him, you know, is not necessarily where I am. So I throw smoke as a deterrent, instead of going up, I actually go underneath. I don't actually like being down here. This is another spot that almost everybody sort of looks for it. Now I go back up and I crawl along the side underneath and everyone looks for there but sometimes you just have to kind of do it and sometimes it works. In this case it did but... Alright we're gonna uh, we're gonna go to B and we're gonna go through the building again instead of going underground and just to let you know that's actually my uh, preference. I'd rather go through the building. It's a lot faster uh, than going underground and you risk getting killed more underground but you want to run there and you want to rush so extreme in an SMG is usually helpful if you encounter someone right there like or even before you get there that's killing you try chucking a grenade in there as you're running there just before you get out there so again as you're going through always be prepared to fire always assume that there's someone there don't just think of the position that you're going to anticipate that there's an enemy no matter where you're going around every corner and just sort of be aware of that. I set the claymores up as you can see. They let me know if someone's coming from behind. And if someone tries to come out of this doorway here. If it doesn't kill them, it'll wound them. Makes for a quick kill with the uh, with the uh, SMG. Now the uh, bomb cure is actually underground. Again, they don't communicate by mic. I usually turn mine off because what's the point? I mean, other than standing right near the bomb is to let them know it's safe. 
Now he's underground, he's encountering some problems, so I actually come out and meet a guy who's rushing out a sniper, actually. And I nail him. Good job, team. Alright, this is the last round, and actually this time, uh, my teammate plants the bomb at A. Uh, I don't think I actually even know these teammates, I didn't check, I think they're just random ones. Anyway, here's the grenade in the corner that I was telling you about, just in case. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't, and there you go. So if he was trying to flush out through that way, hopefully that would kill him, or it would let me know if someone's there with the damage indicator. Now this is in case someone tries to flank us, uh, but then... You know, I go up here because I'm going to be checking around, actually, and I want to check up on the roof. But I know that there's sometimes snipers down at the far end that would whip me if I just stood there. So I go prone and check, and then I'm a dumbass and look down there, which is kind of against what I was just trying to show you. But then I go prone again past the window, and I'm just sort of scoping it out there. And I know they're not going to come up from down uh, the tunnel area because I've got that claymore there, and it would sort of... Uh, give it away if it and I'd know immediately to turn around right so anyway when you're going through here again I'm being very cautious I know that they're heading towards a you know you've got to get there to get them defense but uh, you know be cautious just assume that there's gonna be players there don't just run around that's why you end up getting killed so be very careful around corners keep moving and keep you know forward momentum and everything but just be cautious and check things so I'm just setting up. We know we've got that claymore at the bottom. Uh, both sides are protected now, really. No one's going to be coming from my side, so I know I'm pretty much safe. However, I like actually being out of the tunnel, because if they chuck a grenade in there, and you're, you're kind of limited on what you can do. In the outside position here, I mean, they can see you when they're... Uh, if they're coming from your left side, sort of wider out. But here you can hear if they're trying to defuse. You can hear if they're walking around in there, and we actually see one guy... And then one guy comes around here, and then my other teammate, I think, bites it. So I go in there and finish him off. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. For more strategies and tactics on modern warfare and world at war, visit nextgentactics.com.